cement that's been the one which has really been on a tear of late so let's bring on board ashish koha ceo and md at heidelberg cement ashish hi morning good to have you on the show as always as per recent reports uh, it seems that cement prices have been hiked by about 5 to 25 uh, rupees per 50 kg bag is that true yeah in some markets here uh, i don't know about 25 rupees uh, we have not seen that kind of a rise anywhere uh, but you can say in the vicinity of 10 Uh, there have been rises in various markets. Yeah. Hmm. Ashish, uh, so how much of the current escalation in cement price will actually translate into your bottom line? I think straight on because uh, uh, we have not seen any uh, other than pet coke, which has increased a bit uh, in the last few months, and the prices of bags. Uh, that will be marginal. It will be about uh, one or two rupees uh, per bag. So about seven eight rupees to their better. Mm. Ashish, how is the overall demand right now um, in the central India region where you have maximum exposure? It's a, I think uh, we saw an increase of about five percent. This is a rough estimate because we don't get any figures nowadays. So it's a rough estimate based on our, uh, you know, uh, talking to the dealers and getting an uh, mm. understanding. It's about roughly about five percent kind of a demand growth over last year. Mm. So, do you think a consistent price uh, increase would be something that would be recurring and is sustainable? Well, I think uh, you know. Okay, sustainable. Yes, at this current level, uh, yes, it's sustainable. If we don't see any kind of cost increases coming further, uh, we should be able to sustain this price or a little higher. Uh, but if there are increases coming up uh, and post elections, we're going to see some changes. Like coal India is already talking about a hike. If that comes up, we will surely try and increase the prices. Ashish, and the current, yeah, Nikunjia, tell me. But you know, Ashish, uh, it's good to hear that you are sounding both bullish and optimistic. So, can I safely assume that cement industry dynamics are now favorable, favorable, and it is no longer a buyer's market; it is a seller's market, and you are selling at your price. Oh, well, we never sell at our prices. Okay, we want the best. Okay, so it is. uh always a buyers market because we have extra capacity in uh, india so uh, that hasn't changed in the, and it won't change in the next couple of years till south comes to a capacity utilization of about uh, 80% so uh, it is still a buyers market but within that yeah we are seeing a perception change okay uh, we are seeing a change in the mood of the dealer well, which is our main network uh, Uh, you know, eighty percent of our goods are sold through our uh, distribution network of CNFs and dealers. There is a hype in that, and probably that is linked to you know what's happening in the electoral front right now. And uh, if uh, you know whatever uh, everyone is saying happens, then we see infrastructure projects kicking up, and thereafter, uh, you know, cement prices obviously has a northward uh, bias. Ashish, what did you make of the recent consolidation in the global oh cement space with Lafarge as well as Holsey merging? And how do you think this is going to impact uh, the Indian cement sector per se? Okay, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, big is beautiful, uh, big can be bad. Uh, so no comments. Obviously, it's a, a step towards further consolidation globally. Uh, you can see, you know, one uh, the companies are going on shrinking and uh, major players are becoming larger. so that goes globally and as far as india is concerned yeah i see a bit of antitrust issues coming up here i'm sure uh, in east india uh, they would have uh, some capacities to sell uh, and also in north probably so uh, that will create an opportunity for other players who are looking at acquisition opportunities uh, in within india especially in the east and north uh, as far as uh, consolidation within india for lafarge and holsim is concerned we'll have to wait and see how they do it because you know holsim didn't even consolidate uh, acc and ambuja earlier and now going forward uh, with lafarge coming in uh, what will be the you know shape and size and the look of the new organization is to be seen i think it will take a couple of years before they uh, really really look a, a one organization within india Okay. So we'll have to wait and watch for okay. that. Ashish, final question to your mind: yes, What is the current uh, capacity utilization of the Indian cement sector? And at Heidelberg, what are your numbers? 
Uh, Heidelberg, okay. For uh, us, it's about, well, roughly we are expecting to be about 85% for the year in central India. And uh, in south, it is still, you know, 50-60%. That's the kind of uh, capacity utilization it's going. North would be similar to uh, central, would, which would be about 75 to 80. And uh, mind it, I'm talking about a capacity utilization where we have a new uh, line which has come up. So that that takes it uh, further. Uh, so uh, otherwise, for overall for overall old capacities, I think it should be in the range of ninety percent in uh, central India.